Welcome uh, back. Yeah, feel take free this to off. Take that off. Yeah. Welcome back and uh, heavyweight. Yes, sir. Man, talk about what kind of went into that to say, you know, not only am I going to make a comeback, but I'm going to try it as a heavyweight. It's a new challenge for me and uh, felt like it's uh, the right uh, the, the right thing to do right now. I'm, I'm a pretty big guy and uh, I train and I walk around about uh, yeah, like, like a natural heavyweight. So it felt very naturally for me to 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 try it out and see and see what's how it's gonna feel. I was gonna say, was it difficult to get to 205 in the past, or is, or did you feel like you need to bulk up for this? What? No, uh, I definitely not need to to bulk up for for the, for the heavyweight uh, class. But uh, it's always been a little bit of a challenge for me to to go down. It is, it is for everybody here, and it's not easy for for anyone. But uh, I'm a pretty heavy big guy, so you know it. This is good. I've never had a better better training camp and than I had uh, for this fight, and I've been eating. Good food and feeling feeling strong and feeling healthy. That's awesome. When you walked away, what was it? Was it was it physical? Was it mental? Was it? I mean, what was it? You said I, I need a break from the sport for a while. Nah, I was just heartbroken. That's all. It was a tough. It was a tough uh, tough fight. It was in Stockholm. Uh, it was against a guy that that I know I got the tools to beat, but I didn't. Uh, you know, obviously. But uh, and I also I felt that you know I lost I lost maybe the first round but then I starting to, to pick up the pace and, and starting to to take points and, and, and win winning the fight but then I did a mistake and Anthony Smith is a is a high level tough guy for the first and and uh, yeah you know it's a high level uh, it's a high level in everybody I'm fighting so he saw an opportunity took it all credit to him and and he he, he submit me so. It was a it was a tough night and uh, my emotions and thoughts was just a uh, chaos in, in my head and then I, I I took the call. How soon after did you know like nah I'm not gonna stay out like I'm I'm coming back. Like the day after. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, it was uh, I, I took a, a month two months and I felt uh, pretty good to be back home doing basically nothing. But then I felt like I I I'm I felt that uh, this is not the way it should end. Like uh, I've done this for too long. I sacrificed too much for, for you know, to, to end, end it like that. And is there any part two, I wonder, because obviously your entire career, we got to ask you about title shots and John Jones rematches, and you know what I mean? I, I see the exhaustion in your eyes when we speak no to worries. you. No is this, worries. Is this, is this nice to me? Like, this is like brand new. Like, there's fresh matchups, no expectations of ranking, I would think. I mean, is any part of that fun that it's just like... It's yeah, it new? is. It is. It's, it's a new challenge for me. It's a new world. More or less for me to, to, to step up one way class. Like I said, just the training camp has been way different than, than the other training camps. Uh, and uh, just don't have to cut weight. And, and, and fighting Verdum too has been uh, is also uh, very motivating for me to, to in training because it's a, it's a tough guy and a legend of the sport. So uh, I feel relieved to, to sit here and, and fighting Verdum on Saturday. I feel, I feel good, I feel confident. and. Uh, I'm ready to go. Nice. And last thing for me, as far as like the matchup of the Verdum itself, you know, breaking down, I'm assuming most of the guys at 205, you were keeping an eye on, you knew how they fought, you watched them, you were aware. Was this somebody, I mean, as you said, he's a legend, he's been around, but did you have to kind of study his game a little bit, or, or, did, or did you know enough about him? I know uh, plenty of things uh, about Verdum, but uh, I always study my opponents with my team. Um, so i I done my homework. Are you moving to heavyweight with the, the idea of going for a title at heavyweight, or is the idea of 205 still there? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'm, I'm just have one fight, one fight in front of me now, and it's a Verdum, and you know, I can't answer that question right now. To take it on Sunday. The idea, of, you know, because obviously John's still the champion at 205. You know, your path to that fight again is probably a bit more complicated than if at heavyweight. You know, you get a couple of wins. Who knows? You've got a good name behind you and stuff. The UFC could give you a title shot at heavyweight. Is that something you're even thinking about, or are you just focus on how you're going to feel in the cage for your first fight out there? No, but like as my focus is on my opponent, no matter who it is. Uh, now I'm fighting Verdum, so that's all I'm thinking of right now. But uh, when I beat Verdum, I will take another fight, and I, let's see what's what's happening. Maybe I go down to light heavyweight. Let's let's see what happens. But right now I'm feeling really good to be in heavyweight, and I never felt this fresh for a long time. Um, I really feel feel really good, and uh, and I'm just ready to go. And and uh, you know, I win. I, I beat Verdum on Saturday, and I, I I have a couple of fights behind me in heavyweight, and they give me the shot. I'm not gonna say no. It's it's uh, of course, but uh, yeah, one day at a time. And, 
is there something motivating about a second career at all, you know, you, you've walked away once, is there something motivating about like going, I know I can walk away, but now this second bit is for me, it's for fun, right? It's to just sort of fulfill the things I never got to before. Is there a different feeling going into coming out of retirement? Uh, well, I realized I missed it a lot when I didn't do it. Uh, so I'm feeling very motivated to sit here today and... and, and uh, I'm just feeling very like uh, I'm very I'm a lucky guy to be able to sit here again and, and to do what I love to do. Uh, I got some perspective on things when I when I walk out the doctor on last time and and uh, now I'm here and feeling really really good, man. The UFC announced a few months ago that they're going to induct your fight with Joe Jones to the UFC Hall of Fame. How did you react when you heard about it? Uh, well, it's an honor. It's a, it's an honor. We we had a really good fight and. Uh, it's always nice to get to get uh, really good feedback uh, and, and credit for the fight, and, and it's it's a, it's an honor for me. Is it a bit weird though, because it's a fight that you think you won, but you didn't? It was such a big fight for the title. No, it's not weird at all. You know, I lost that fight, but it, it was a good fight. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. uh, there was something that something that when when the Silva posted on Instagram when this fight was announced that very, that that you were going to uh, train before, and Verdun broke your news. I would like to know if it's, if it's true that... No, he hasn't broken my nose. I broke his nose. Okay. How was it? When, when was that time section? Sorry? When, when was that Oof, section? 10 years ago maybe. It was, we had a good sparring. And we went all in, you know, him and me. And, and uh, we had, it was a good sparring. I think, I don't remember who I was fighting back, back then, but uh, I was in camp. He was in camp for a fight. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, but... Made the history short. I beat him in that sparring. I beat him bad. Was this the the only one you, you the, the one time you trained together or you you? you yeah, then he don't want to spar me anymore. You didn't want to train. No, I don't want to spar me anymore. Do, do, do you do you bring those memories into this fight? Or no, was that was a different world, different time. It's it's. I see Verdum as he, as, as his best shape right now. I, I actually saw him out there and and and. Uh, uh, and say hello to him, but he looks fit, he looks ready to go, so I'm really excited for this one. Uh, just last question for me, I, I, I was always curious to, to ask you, did you stop uh, up, up, up updating your tattoo in your arm? Just being lazy. <laughs> I don't like to tattoo my losses, but I have to do it. Do you, do you plan on doing it? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Your teammate, uh, Hamza Chimaev, is making a lot of noise in the UFC, for how long have you been training together? Uh, a couple of years, quite some time. Did you realize he can make it in the UFC back then when you just started working with Absolutely. him? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we, he's one of my, just, he, he's, a, he's a welterweight that guy. Uh, and it's my main, one of my main sporting partners. I'm fighting heavyweight now. That's, that says everything about him. So what, what, what do you see him in the future in a couple of years? As the world champion. Yes, that's all. Uh, of course, we, we have to wait the fight to see how, how you're going to perform as a heavyweight. But based on what you're training, what would you say is your biggest weapon as a heavyweight version? My speed. My speed and I just basically took taking everything from, from, from the light heavyweight division to heavyweight now and I feel so much stronger. So I'm feeling I perform better now than I did as a light heavyweight in my training camps. Uh, so I feel strong, I feel fast, I'm ready. And coming back of uh, retirement, are you the type of fighters that, that you... Are you looking for to be more active now that you are back? Or you just want to wanna see how you will perform? No, I want to be active. I'm here, I'm here to stay, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, so let's see what happens. And what would be the, the best way to... to the build in the heavyweight division. Do you want uh, to make a statement, like knocking out for Doom or something like that? Or just yeah, if I do that, that would be great. Just get the W. That's the most important thing. That was people. That's what will be on, on my papers and what people remember. Get the W. Nothing else. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm excited to, to to get that W.